So I've got a 1989 YJ that hasn't been maintenanced in about a decade. Um, but all of that aside, I've had to deal with the rear end. One of the spider gears basically exploded. Which, let's see if I can... Well, at any rate, you can see up in there. Things are not looking good. Very gnarly stuff. So, trying to get this cross pin out was a pain in the neck. And these years, I, I think there's a span of like maybe four years or so that have this roll pin here instead of the actual bolt holding in the differential carrier cross pin. So you go to the back side of the thing, and I didn't see many, like, I didn't think I found, anyway, any real clear videos on this. So there's a little hole back here. You have to remove that cap to be able to get in there. And extra long drift, apparently, is uh, what I've heard thrown around on a few different forums. But I don't know the exact length that you need. Um, once you pull your cover off, if you want to measure and buy a drift, good for you. Um, you can measure it pretty easily. I think you can see from this, right? Um, but the diameter of it, it's, it, the bore is a little more than a quarter inch. So I have a quarter inch piece of round stock and, uh, I actually took a Dremel and they stake these pins down. And if it focuses for us, if you see right in the edge there, I've, uh, Dremeled that area out so that the staking material was out of the way and wasn't an obstruction and was beaten on it. I couldn't get a good straight hit with a hammer. It was a major pain in the neck and it wasn't moving. So got an air chisel and then on my uh, round rod, of course, I, I realized that's absorbing a lot of the energy as I'm hitting it and that was part of my problem. But at any rate, I didn't have a punch long enough and I'm not going to wait a week for a mail order extended punch or something crazy like that. So piece of round rod and an air chisel and uh, that's been enough to knock this pin out so if you end up in the same situation at least that's what I did it wasn't too bad um, to be completely honest I was expecting it to fight me more but next thing I gotta figure out is if I can uh, throw a tap into this carrier and just thread it because the new kits it seems like all come with the roll pin and the uh, thread and bolt so I don't know the diameter of those threads if this bore is already too large to uh, adapt to those threads or what but I'm gonna try but Anyway, that's what worked for me. wanted to make a real specific video on uh, this little Dana 35 and how they decided to use a roll pin in their infinite cost-cutting wisdom. So have a uh, lovely day. Good luck in all that stuff.